Ever since I can remember, my parents encouraged me to dream. And traveling has been such a key part of that. I've gone on multiple trips every year, literally since I was born. My parents took me on my first trip when I was like two weeks old. My parents took me camping in their VW camper van. And soon after that, while my mom, mind you, was still on maternity leave, I went on my second trip. We flew from LA to New York with the enormous amount of baby gear that any brand new parents would bring. And my parents did that because they believed something kind of unique. My parents believed that having kids were not gonna hold them back. Not from seeing the world, not from going on adventures, and not from traveling. They believe that kids would actually make traveling more of a rich experience. So they never wanted to leave us at home. And this last year has been the toughest period of my entire life. By far the most exhausting, the most tiring, with a decade's worth of change crammed into a handful of months. And I felt like I was underwater grasping for air. I was in the middle of a storm, and it was freaking incredibly hard. But the bigger problem was that I couldn't see a way out. I had stopped dreaming about what a brighter day might look like. And I grew up believing that the world is a safe place to explore that mistakes were normal and just an opportunity to learn, and that imagination is more important than knowledge, and that tomorrow belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And I've always dreamed my biggest, most fantastical, beautiful dreams while traveling. Getting out of the routine from home is so key, creating space to be open to something new putting my brain in an environment to fully wake up and pay attention to every little tiny detail. And when I leave home, every moment can spark a whole new direction, every person I bump into, every story from a different culture. So I booked a trip with my parents to try to dream again, to find a dream that excited me, to dream about the impossible, to dream completely different paths that I could take. And after expanding my world to see this very big, enormous, incredible, beautiful world that we live in, I created some small steps, incredibly small steps, that I could take now to start moving towards some of those impossible, fantastical dreams. Because after all, tomorrow does belong to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams, and far too often, we don't dream enough. So the next time you feel stuck, or bored, or overwhelmed, or stressed, or worried, create some space to dream. Get out of your routine. Go somewhere new, anywhere new. Be open to what you find there. Dream dreams that are so massively, incredibly big that they scare you. And then take the smallest possible step you can in that direction. And then repeat it. Because tomorrow, the tomorrow that we share depends on the beauty of your dreams.